So let's come together this morning. This is the last Sunday of the year. And when there is a Sunday between Christmas and New Year's, we always talk about peace. And this was also the, the morning of the World Peace Meditation. So we're going with the theme of peace today. And I invite everyone to just <clears throat> go within. Let's turn our attention away from whatever activity it took to get us here today, whatever activity we saw in the news today, whatever thoughts might be racing through our minds or emotions through our psyche. <clears throat> turn away from the physical sensations. of hot or cold. And let's go within to that secret place within, to our prayer closet, to the kingdom which is the presence of God. Let's go back before thoughts, before words, let's just be with the isness, the oneness, the suchness. We recognize that God is all that there is, all-knowing, all-powerful, everywhere present. Right here and right now. We ask ourselves to consider, <clears throat> since God is all that there is, what could possibly be against God? What power could stand up to omnipotence? What consciousness could try to fool omniscience? What place could anyone or anything go to stand against the divine? There is none. All of God is for itself. <clears throat> it is life enhancing. It supports itself. It never can, it never will, it never has acted against itself. It has created everyone and everything out of itself to work together in grand harmony. The bees and the flowers do not speak. They do not write. They do not have a common language. And yet they communicate effectively for the highest good of each other. The birds fly thousands of miles on a migration to arrive at a waypoint when your food supply is most plentiful. The sun rises and sets. The tides come and the tides go. Everything in God's universe is in perfect order and in perfect harmony. This perfect peace, this perfect order, this perfect harmony is the truth of our being. Every cell, every organ, every tissue of our physical bodies 
is created in the image and likeness of a divine idea of peace, of order, and of harmony. Every emotion in our psyche, every thought in our intellect, everything about us, everything comes from peace. Today we accept the peace that passes understanding. We allow every and any idea in our consciousness, in all consciousness, that is unlike peace, that is unlike harmony, that is unlike order, to dissolve into the nothingness from which it came. The darkness disappears the instant the light is turned on. This day we turn the light of peace on, or rather we reveal the light of peace which has always been on. We allow it to fill our bodies, to fill our emotions, to fill our minds. We allow it to fill our experience in our homes. We turn towards our loved ones and we see the peace within them. And we turn to our enemies and we see the peace within them. Today we resolve to dedicating our lives to seeing and to experiencing this peace. We do not judge by appearances, but by the rightful judgment that it is the love and the peace of God that has created us out of itself. And we choose to dwell in it. We are grateful for this opportunity to be together this day, to love each other, to encourage each other, to support each other on our spiritual journey. Our spiritual journey of becoming the peace in this world. We are grateful to know there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief. And this treatment is a treatment of consciousness for the purpose of setting that motion in law, that law in motion, to produce a greater opening in our consciousness that peace may pour forth from us, through us, as us. We release this treatment to that perfect law, knowing so certain it is done, that we say together, and so it is. <clears throat>